So, hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another video, and today we are going to just have a look at the values of the 1993 50 cent coin. So, if you're not too familiar with this coin, this is actually a low mint 50 cent coin, only 1 million coins are actually issued for circulation, and then you have our uh, coins issued in sets and in proof sets, which... Probably about two to three hundred thousand extra coins, but we don't include them in this analysis because these are only for the uncirculated sets. So here I have on eBay the items that are actually up for sale, and if we sort it by the lowest, the lowest coin is up for sale is three dollars. So this one is actually. In pretty well circulated condition, as you can see, uh, it's okay to collect, it's good to put in a collection, but it is actually the cheapest. And then the prices go up, and of course, the price would increase if the grade is a lot better. So, this one has this is just an example image. They're selling multiples of this coin and how much would they be selling them for? $8.55 but you can give a best offer and if I was on the PC I could actually sell um, see how much these actually sold for so no you can't actually sell see how much these are actually sold for but there is another way you can do it, which I show people quite often on this channel. Um, go to sold items. So, whoa. First coin sold for $1 plus $3 postage. Uh, the image is actually not that good. You actually need the image to be a lot better. Looks a bit damaged as well. So that's why that one actually sold for one dollar. And then you got four dollars twenty-five free postage. But because it's the best offer, you're not too sure if they've actually took up that offer. So you're probably paying about three to four dollars per coin. Now, I would say three dollars in circulated. Um, this is probably the base price. This one has. Uh, just one for five dollars So if we look at that So that will be four dollars if you take away postage. This is a pretty circulated coin And pretty damaged So let's have a look Make sure this is yep lowest Going first so you've got five Five ninety-five two dollars postage. Uh, ten dollars. Ooh, ten dollars. Six dollars. Four of them for twelve fifty. So it's about three dollars each. So really, if you're paying ten dollars for this coin, you're overpaying for it. You're not going to get ten dollars back for it. If you're paying nine dollars. Um, Oh, that one's for 93, 97. 97's another low mint coin, as well as 1985. 987, I think it's like a, I can't remember how to mintage for that, but it's a bit higher than the 1993. Uh, so, and then we get ones from coin sets, obviously. It is in very good condition, as you can see. This should actually be uncirculated with no damage on it. If it has damage, then that is actually caused after they've removed it from the set. And they've put it in a coin cover to actually uh, make sure it's not damaged. And here is a, a proof one. You can tell it's proof because it's got frosting on it. So, come on, image. So, $23. 
So you can see the frosting on the actual image. So that's actually a proof. Did they have proof? Uh, yeah, proof 50 cent coin. It's probably not really worth taking the out of the proof set if that's all you're going to get for it. Just sell the proof set. And here were some other coins. 26. There's all for uncirculated and proof. So, and here is one that's actually been graded. That's very interesting. $100. It's a proof 69, so 70 is the maximum. Deep cam, PCGS. And if you put that number there, so that number there, in their website, it'll give you information, it'll give you photos of the coin as well. It's $100 for a proof. Ah, here is a... This is actually taken from the PCGS website. So... Population, only three of them that are higher, so only three coins are being graded 70. Um, proof 69, they have a population of 50. So there's probably a lot more out there, but I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. How much does a proof set cost? Because when you get a proof set, you actually want to, if you want to divide it up, you need to take into account how much an actual set costs. So, one dollar, here you go, 40 bucks. 40 bucks, they got the proof coin graded, and they sold it for 100, so grading probably another $30 uh, so you might make $20 on the actual coin itself but if you're going to grade older coins and then you're going to sell them then you could make a good profit so $40 then you divide it up yeah yeah I'd actually get a proof set and actually divide it up but if the proof set costs you know, like over $100 yeah nah, I won't worry about that so anyway that is the value of a 1993 50 cent coin. I hope this actually. Um, no, I won't worry about that. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learnt something. And just keep collecting coins and banknotes. Thank you and bye bye.